Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video that I kind of like love watching on YouTube, like it's kind of my guilty pleasure. But I kind of love to watch these kind of videos, but I don't admit that I like to watch these videos because I, I like, I'm a secret like shady biatch. Like I'm, I'm really secretly shady, I'm shady on the low. This is going to be a disappointing products video. These are some of the products that I've used and perhaps they just didn't perform the way I, was, I thought they were going to perform. Perhaps I just don't think they're value for money. Perhaps there was a lot of hype on YouTube about it and I personally tried it and I didn't like it. I'm not going to do one of the disclaimers that people do. Oh, if it didn't work for you, it might work for me. Did it? No. If you don't like what I have to say about it, then move on. Go to the person that made the product, not me, because I don't care. So if you're easily offended, I have plenty of other videos to watch. Subscribe. See you later. Peace. First of all, I'm just going to mention the two masks that like, on the scale of disappointment, they are like a 10. They are these two Peter Roth masks. These two have to be the most pointless masks I've ever encountered in my whole life. I know a lot of people love the 24 karat gold one. I've seen Jackie Anna use it a lot. And I know that she positively loves this mask. I just... It didn't do it. It just sits on your face. It doesn't do anything. Like, it doesn't really brighten my skin. To be honest, I'm really proud of myself and the way I'm taking care of my skin because my skin does look a lot naturally brighter, like, without makeup and stuff like that. That's not because of this product. That's because I actually, like, have a good routine. I know what I'm doing. But it just literally sits on your face and it just... I don't like it. No. Then the green one, the cucumber gel mask, doesn't do anything. Like, why do I sound so irate right now? Like, calm down literally the same exact thing just sits on my face i don't even feel like it's doing nothing i like to feel a mask taking over my world i like to feel a mask like just doing the work i like to feel a mask helping me de-stress de -calm. i like to feel like it's cleaning my skin and doing what the hell it should be doing but i don't like for the money i just don't think it's worth it to buy either one of these two masks i'm not gonna lie I have some more skincare things these are the nip and fab glycolic fix daily cleansing pads i don't still have it because i love it and i want to keep it as memorabilia and think about it and look at it at all times of the day i kept it specifically for this disappointing products video so you'd know exactly which one of the glycolic fix pads not to get these day ones suck they do nothing they're just like like I, you guys know i love using acids on my skin and i just feel like this does nothing it didn't really do anything to help the texture of my skin it just it wasn't remarkable it just didn't do anything amazing and i know that a lot of people love these pads but it just it didn't do anything for me the one to get now is the dark blue one. Don't get the light blue one, get the dark blue one because these you can actually feel working. They're, they're extreme pads, but they're not extreme. Like what is extreme? It's not gonna melt off your face. They just say that you should use it uh, like three times a week as opposed to like daily as you can use this one. I use this three to four times a week and it does miracles for me. It's completely helped with the texture of my skin. My skin feels so soft when I take my makeup off. Whenever I use this, I absolutely feel like I've got a really great exfoliation going on. Whereas when I use this one, no. So no get this one don't get this one next up i'm going to talk about something that was so hyped about and raved about on youtube and it was made popular by a specific youtuber it's not to say that i'm bashing the youtuber i'm just saying we all fell for it and now we don't care about it it's the nivea post shave balm does anybody use this now tell me tell me i thought not I mentioned it in a favourites one time, but I think I mentioned it just like just because I was like, mm, why not? Which I'll never do again. I want to be like completely transparent with you guys. Like only stuff that I absolutely positively love will I mention on my channel, or my favourites, anything like that. It just like, mmm, mmm. If anything, it just makes you a bit oily. It doesn't really make your makeup look amazing. Like, yeah, a little bit disappointing for me. To be honest, it's five pounds. I know that this is a holy grail for a lot, a lot of people. Obviously, Nikki put a lot of people onto it. She has six million subscribers. Hello. For me, we just a little bit disappointing it just didn't really do what i thought it was going to do but at the end of the day this is not marketed as a primer so i, I can't really expect too much from this it's just obviously nikki's skin is different to my skin but i just wanted to mention this didn't really work for me but i still have it i still have a full bottle i've probably used it about three or four times it smells like face i want to mention a bronzing product this is the la girl velvet bronzer contour stick Oof. This is the worst thing I've ever used in my whole life. First of all, it's red as hell. I don't know who wants their skin to be looking that bloody red, even if you are dark. Yeah, this is easily one of the worst bronzers I've ever used. This is why I stick to powder bronzers. When you put this on, it like literally sticks to that part. When you try and blend it in, it makes all your makeup fade. Picture this. You're getting ready for work, you've got 10, 20, 15 minutes left. You've put on your bronzer thinking that you're going to bronze it out, give yourself a nice golden glow, and it makes all your face disappear. You now have to reapply all the damn foundation, conceal the highlight situation that you've got going on your forehead, and redo the whole thing. How would it make you feel? How? Huh? How sway? 
this sucks like sucks like it just makes everything disappear anything that you put it like on top it just makes it disappear like literally I don't even want to demo it for you like I'm not going anywhere I'm staying at home but I don't even want to like disappoint my face of using this product again because I heard it crying to me it cried out and it told me the night before she said don't you ever put that damn bronze on my forehead again another product that is so disappointing to me that I cannot even believe it's a product that still a lot of people on YouTube to this day still love and say that it's the best thing on this earth and yeah it's not this is the house of lashes lash glue this is by far one of the biggest disappointments I bought it just on a whim one time and I just I hate the glue like everybody says it gets so tacky so quick I just I didn't experience that maybe I got a bad batch I don't know I tried to use it several different times just didn't work it never gets dry and then when it does get dry it doesn't even stick to your lash like I don't know I think I must have a bad batch because a lot of people that I watch love this glue and I just I can't get to grips with it and I just yeah it's a bit disappointing for me so cute though look at the bottom it's pink a lip product I know a lot of people love this lip product and when it sold out and it came back everybody was crying we were rejoicing thanking Jesus but I just it just didn't do it for me this is the Velour liquid lipstick in the shade androgyny it's not that I think the formula is bad or anything like that I just think the color for me just looked a lot better on the internet and then when I put it on I just I just don't love it and this is not so much a disappointing product this is maybe just yeah it's a disappointing product let's not lie it's disappointing just because I thought it would just be something different I thought it would be more of a brown undertone I think it's also hard when the swatches for the lipstick were not on a girl of colour I don't believe at the time that I bought it at least I just don't love it just yeah no I also wanted to mention another cult product Colourpop Beeper meh I don't even have it because I gave it to my sister because I was like I don't even use it like I hate the colour I just I'm, I'm acting like a hater I'm not even a, I'm not a hater no, kind of what people, I just think everybody was saying it was a duty for Kylie Dose K. I have Kylie Dose K. It's nothing like Dose K. Nothing. So I just wanted to mention it was a little bit disappointing. I mean, I think there was a lot of swatches again going around the internet and it was hard to kind of get a clear idea of what it actually looked like. But that was something that I wanted to mention because I just, and I'm not the only person. I feel like I've spoken to a few people who like, mm, yeah, when I got it, it just wasn't the colour that I thought it was going to be. That's it. No hate. Don't need no hateration. Holleration. It is that so Let's Let's move on to some foundations that were so disappointing to me. Can't even believe it. So the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, ugh, hated it, Suck. just didn't do anything for me, it wasn't amazing. I don't have it because I gave it to my sister, I'm just using the regular HD foundation as a representative because you know they sisters or whatever. In terms of like the colouring of the line, I feel like they did a lot better with the HD line. I know like when the Ultra HD line came out, I know that a lot of people were saying that it's so much better because they got such a wide variation of colours but I found it very hard to get matched for the Ultra HD in comparison to the regular HD and then the Ultra HD it was super super yellow when I put it on you could clearly tell it was quite yellow my body was a tiny bit warmer my face is actually quite neutral and then my body's a tiny bit warmer which is quite weird but mm. but yeah I did find it quite hard to match it and then when I bought it I just didn't think it was amazing I didn't like that there wasn't a colour match for me and I didn't like that potentially I'd have to buy two and mix them because these foundations go for just under £30 so who's got time to pay £60 just to mix and match another foundation this foundation the Clinique Beyond Perfect foundation and concealer this was so disappointing for me and I really wanted to like this I really wanted to like this this is one of two Clinique products I have mm, no tea no shade I just yeah this just didn't do anything for me I did post a review of this on my channel I will link it up here for you guys to know what side that will go on I wore it when I was in New York last year, it did not even withstand the heat, I did set it, it didn't withstand the heat, it was literally sliding off my face and I could feel it on my face the whole time. The worst thing when you go to a hot country is to feel like you've got makeup on your face, you want to feel like there's nothing in your face, like I have a full face on today and I don't really feel like there's much on my face, but with this I could always feel it on. When I put sunglasses on it would just slide off, I felt hot and sticky and sweaty. Whenever I wore this, even when I came to London it was a tiny bit colder, it just did not work and I just, the under tone is really weird I didn't think they really had the most amazing shade selection because the one under this was too light the one after this was too dark so it just it left me with getting this one so I'm in the shade 24 golden it just yeah um it even looks too damn light like look when I just hold it there you can already see like girl it's too light you shouldn't know no it didn't work for me guys I know that a lot of people on YouTube do love this but for me it did not work another cleaning product I'm so sorry to have to say this because I know that a lot of people live and die breathe swear by this product 
but I just just for the money I just think mm, really this is the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel again I did mention this in the favorites I was young I was naive I was dumb this is 28 pounds I just think for that amount of money like I'm expecting to see dramatically different results like it says on a damn bottle dramatically different like it just it's an okay moisturizer it just doesn't do anything revolutionary it doesn't really moisturize for that long either I feel like after a few hours I feel like my skin is a little bit dry like when I put it on when I go to sleep it just doesn't feel like heavy at all I don't know I think it's meant to be light because the gel is supposedly for people with oily skin so I think they made it a tiny bit lighter so it's not as heavy not as dense so you don't have like a lot of oil in your face just my guess but I don't know I think it could just be formulated to be a bit more thicker even though it's oil free I don't know I feel like that it could just be a bit more dense it could just pack a bit more weight to it so that I can really feel like the moisture in my skin I don't know I think for the price it could have been a lot better but yeah what are you gonna do another product from Makeup Forever actually this is the Ultra HD High Definition Powder I hate this stuff I hate it this is like meant to be a powder for like set in the face or like touch ups I'm not really sure but I use this one time to bake Oh my god, this was the oh this was the worst. Actually, there's one other powder that I need to all wait. Now this is the Morphe banana powder. This is their setting powder. Both of these I dislike for exactly the same reason. Let me tell you. Once you put your concealer under your eyes, blend it out with your beauty blender, you're ready to seize the day. You want to set it so that that bitch is locked and loaded. You put these two powders on and you're like, hmm, why is my makeup disappearing? Why is it looking patchy? Why is it looking dry? They're just so drying. Like I've never experienced powders as dry as this. And like I cake my face. With airspine on my face never looks dry. I cake my face with RCMA no color powder, cake my face with Laura Mercier, and my face never feels or looks dry. But using these two powders, whoo! It's like in white chicks when they do like the Yo Mama joke about her breast milk and they do and the dust comes out. That's literally what I feel like my face is like. It's so bad. I wanted to try this Morphe powder out because I love trying out yellow powders. It's called banana powder, so it brought me back to my Ben Nye days. I've had this for ages and I remember Patrick Star talking about it long ago on his channel and saying how much he loves it so I bought it because I want to try it I just yeah guys if you like but don't want your under eyes looking dry crackly like you haven't washed your face in about 10 years then buy this this is the Indian healing clay Aztec secret Earth and beauty mask whatever it's called this is like a little underground like thing this is not like a mainstream product that I've seen a lot of people talk about on YouTube but my sister put me onto this my friend put me onto this and I just mm, it didn't work it's supposed to be like the most world's most powerful facial that's exactly what it says there deep pore cleansing oh this mask was just such a weird sensation and it didn't really do what I thought it was gonna do like first of all you have to mix it with water which I don't really love because it's hard to get equal parts powder and equal parts water it's really powdery so I don't even want to open it because literally everywhere so you have to make sure you get the mixing right first of all then when you put it in your face it's literally so hard like rock solid like I can't even do with it it was so painful and then you have to kind of wash it off you can't even like peel it off or crack it off in some way just to get it off your face you have to wash it off and you have to put a thick layer for it to work so it just counteract itself like it just doesn't really make sense and then when you wash it off I just didn't feel like there was anything amazing that was happening and this one time I put it on and literally it destroyed my skin I had rashes bumps lumps for days I think that it, I don't know if it's too harsh it's really weird because one day it does nothing and then the next day it does too much like can we get some balance up in here like, I'll keep giving this a try because my little sister loves this mask my friend also recommended this mask and I know that this mask has a lot of good reviews and people say that you no know, it is the world's most powerful facial which I'm sure it is but it just I don't get it like I like to see even results at least if you're not gonna work one day then you ain't gonna work the next that's good but don't like do nothing and then practically tear off my skin the next day like some consistency please like so that's the end I hope you enjoyed watching me roast those products I don't get joy out of doing that I just I think it's good to give an honest review like at the end of the day us youtubers sit here and we do favorites and we do tutorials and we do full face first impressions and we talk about all the products that we love it's good to give you guys products that are not so good because we can help you save money you know if there was someone that was exactly my skin tone was exactly my skin type everything that could tell me that's gonna work or that's not gonna work on YouTube then I would you know I would want to you know connect with that. I would want to know I would want to be a part of that for sure Let let me know if you guys enjoyed this type of video because it's not something I've done before but at first I thought disappointing products videos I just thought like if you don't like it like just don't like throw it away like it might just be that I have not used these products in the way that they're meant to be used maybe you guys can let me know down there what's the best way to use these products I mean no hate no tea no shade it's literally just they didn't work for me that's it thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed me being a shady little bitch don't forget to connect with me on social media my twitter my instagram my snapchat where I roast other products people just kidding except I'm not
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel and you're new, this is your first time watching and you like what you see, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys again. See you in my next video. Bye.